Hello there everybody, um, this is a little video about changing oil on a Toyota Yaris, this one's a, a 2013, um, this video is kind of going to go backwards because I've already taken the filter housing off and that's the thing that's a little bit difficult or different about these rather than a, than a lot of cars that if you're used to a spin on spin off a can type oil filter, these have uh, replaceable paper elements um, which are uh, yeah they're, they're, they're quite cheap and all the rest of it but they're uh, kind of mucky to change um, first of all to do it these are the tools you're going to need um, the 3.8 ratchet is for un undoing the, the, I, what I presume is the cover over the pressure release valve 14 mil socket on a thing for undoing the drain plug screwdriver and most importantly, large mallet for tapping the cover off using the screwdriver. There probably is a proper tool for unscrewing these uh, filter housings, but um, I haven't looked them up on uh, the internet and uh, haven't got one. Um, and there we go. Um, the housing itself screws up on the bottom of the engine, <coughs> and the paper element sits in there like that. Um, importantly when you change it with the, the, the kit they give you there's two o-rings one of them is obviously there that's got to be changed and also there's one that sits down in there like that and then that cover screws back on and I think what that is in there is the pressure release valve so if the filter blocks it will still pass oil so whilst you've got dirty oil going around the engine, you've got some oil. Um, this housing is extremely mucky. Obviously, it's full of dirty oil um, when you take it apart. I mean, you can see the state of the old filter. That one actually broke when I, when I undone it. Um, with the kit, they give you this plastic piece there, and I'm damned if I know what it's for. It's certainly not, not fitted on the car in any way. I think it might be something to do with draining oil out of it, something because it sort of clips in there like that. So your guess is as good as mine. Right, so um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut away and we're going to um, screw the housing back up in and underneath the car so you can see where it lives. Right, here we are underneath the car. Um, you do need to jack the car up in, you know, fairly well to get access. As you can see, I've used a proper trolley jack and an axle stand both resting on the uh, suspension components so uh, it's nice and firm well, that is the hole there where the um, filter assembly goes up in as you can see that's where it goes screws back in there when he decides to not go cross threaded like that and that's got to be wound round fairly tight and like I said I, I, I tap this one in place well, and undone using the tip of a screwdriver like that tapping with the mallet um, like I said there's probably a proper tool for this and to be honest um, I should be having a little, little look on eBay in a minute to see if there's one on there this here is the drain plug um, that's 14 mil um, I've put that back in and tightened it ready to have the oil, oil poured back in so we're going to tighten this up nip that one up with the 3 a um, end of a socket uh, ex extension bar and refill with oil, not forgetting to obviously check the levels correctly and all the rest of it once we've finished, once we run the engine, allow the, the oil filter to, to fill up and all the other bits and bobs that fill up in the car and in the engine. So uh, there you go. Oh, the other thing to mention, I did um, that whole filter um, assembly, I give it a damn good clean out with, with I use brake cleaner because it's obviously a very good degreaser and it's uh, relatively inexpensive. There we go.